I really do appreciate working my way through Revelation. However, yesterday morning I had Mass over at um, St. Christopher Academy in Nashua, and we had, uh, because of COVID, they're not doing full school stuff, so they're splitting it down into uh, different groups. So we had um, the pre-kindergarten, the kindergartners, and the first graders, which means we have all these little ones, which of course are the cutest things. But we had yesterday the Vietnamese martyrs, and we had Revelation and the Gospel, which were all about things I was like, I'm not sure what I can do. And talking with these kids, who are just, if they were fourth graders, I could do something with it. But, you know, kindergartners, pre-K, God is coming with a scythe. <laughs> yeah. Um, I talked about Thanksgiving. <laughs> But uh, today, so audience means everything, but um, today we have the feast day of St. Uh, Catherine of Alexandria, who um, until recently had been taken off of the general Roman calendar. She was back onto it again uh, with the new Roman Missal. Um, and I, I know many of you probably don't know much or anything about St. Catherine of Alexandria. She was an early uh, virgin martyr in the church and um, she heard that the emperor, and I don't remember which emperor it was, but uh, he was persecuting Christians. And so she went to him to basically say, cut it out. Stop, stop killing Christians, stop persecuting them. And so he said, well, I'll set you up against these, uh, my, my greatest thinkers, my philosophers, and you'll have a debate. Well, she blew them away. They very much like we hear in the gospel today. I myself shall give you a wisdom in speaking that all your adversaries will be powerless to resist or refute. And they were. They were powerless to resist or refute anything she had to say. Well, the emperor didn't particularly like that. So he put her in prison and was planning on um, killing her. But in the meantime, he had gone off I think it was like for a month or so, to go check on his troops in different parts of his empire. When he came back, 200 of his guard were converted, as well as his wife. <laughs> he was none too happy, and he put all of them to death. Um, but that's the way of the emperors back then. And so um, he then had St. Catherine put on a spiked wheel to torture her and kill her, but the wheel broke. So I think he ended up beheading her um, at the end of, to, in order to kill her. So we look at this in this incredible wisdom that God gives us if we are persevering, if we persevere to the end. And in the first reading of Revelation, we get to see the other side. You know, a lot of times when we look at these stories of the martyrs or, or the tragedies in our world, we see them from only our perspective instead of seeing them from the other side. And God shows John this vision so that we can have it. I, saw, I John, saw in heaven another sign. Now, just as an aside, what's the first sign he saw in heaven? A woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. We remember that. We do it like on uh, our Feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe and several of the other Marian feast days. Uh, we pray it as part of the uh, rosary, the glorious mysteries, where Our Lady is <clears throat> clothed with the sun and all that stuff. Excuse me. <clears throat> Good morning, voice. So, um, we, this is then the second sign that he sees something like a sea of glass mingled with fire. And there, there standing were those who won the victory over the beast and its image and the number that signified its name. They were holding God's harps and they sang the song of Moses that those who had been faithful and persevering to the end, they were then in heaven. And a lot of times we lose our focus on that which is most important. The real perspective. That this world is very swiftly coming to an end. And our lives are very swiftly coming to an end. But 
but we were made to live forever. We were made to live forever. And when we see things from that perspective, when we see things from the eternal perspective, that God wants us to be with Him forever in heaven, then really, the sufferings and the tragedies of this world take on a different light. We see things through the cross, which is, we have to go through the cross in order to reach the resurrection. Oh, may we truly have the grace given to St. Catherine of Alexandria to persevere to the end. May we have the eyes to see that which is most important, the heavenly perspective, so that all the trials and sufferings and problems in our lives may take on the proper perspective and priority, that we may uh, be strengthened to follow Christ. And no, really, the greatest tragedy in this world isn't suffering or an early death or those things, but rather the greatest tragedy is not to be a saint. May we have that grace to be the saints God is calling us to be.